And the heat is weighing heavily, as you'd imagine, on the minds of CPS leaders today as they welcome kids back to school. They're trying to figure out how they will keep kids comfortable in the classroom over these next few very warm days. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar has more on the plan from Jackie Robinson Elementary School. And leaders with CPS say they are well aware of the aging infrastructure of its building. They say right now every classroom is outfitted with a working air conditioning unit and they are ready to respond as issues do pop up. But for some parents, they do have concerns sending their kids to class with this extreme heat coming. It's, it makes it a hard environment for the kids to learn in. Marcy Pedraza is a CPS parent and is chair of the school council at George Washington Elementary. For years, she's advocated for greener schools, specifically more efficient cooling and heating. Putting a residential window unit in a classroom in a commercial building is not going to fix the problem. Mayor Brandon Johnson and CPS CEO Pedro Martinez stopped by several schools to welcome students back and with a heat advisory in place for parts of the week, keeping kids cool is a priority. I will be okay sit down, but I will check once I put them in a the building, check the, the AC and how it's feeling in the building before I leave. We have at least window AC units in every single classroom. The hallways are not air conditioned. It is a literally a band-aid on the on the problem. You have old schools with large temperature swings. Paul Shanowski studies the impact of global warming on schools and costs that come with it. He says window AC units simply aren't meant to run for hours on end and are a cheaper short term fix to a larger infrastructure problem. Most of all, economically, it's a bad solution. A Harvard study shows the correlation between hotter temperatures and decreased levels of achievement in the classroom, adversely impacting minority and communities of color. Hydration, shade, and limiting time outside are all part of CPS's plan to cope with the warm temperatures. And in a statement, CPS says they will use a combination of opening doors and windows to try and create a better airflow and to make it just a little more comfortable for students as they try and learn on their first week back to classes, but they do say they are prepared. Reporting from Jackie Robinson Elementary School, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.